Ofsted says, outstanding. I say, isn't this what our most vulnerable and special children deserve? The teachers, the therapists and the carers, they donate their life to seeing that every child achieves their own personal goal. I haven't seen care or dedication like this in my life before. Kishawan is about progression and about achieving independence for each and every person, for each and every soul. It is that independence which we are celebrating here tonight. Thanks to Simon Mora at Inspire, Hani Goldman is working with this evening's production team in making sure the sound, lighting, staging and video all run to plan. And what a good job she has done. I call upon you therefore with all the passion I can muster. Please, give more, not less. And power, do not deny. Recognize that there are no boundaries to who we are or what we can help others achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. As you can see on the screen, we've got the silent auction. You will see the highest bids. So make a note about who is uh, making the highest bid. They may be at a table near you. They may be rivals. So try to outbid them and let's raise as much as we can. Bonim, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, please rise your glasses and the toast of the Queen. Bonim, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and raise your glasses. The toast is the president of the States of Israel. Kishron has given her an opportunity to have her own life. And without Kishron, I think we wouldn't be able to exist. These young adults can actually achieve the most amazing things. Kishron has done wonders with him. It was almost a saviour for us. Tofkid has actually turned my life around. It is a miracle and it is really making the impossible possible. We started doing expeditions in hot places. We did the first ever journey up the River Nile, 4,000 miles using two-seater hovercraft in 1967. We did an expedition in Canada, the first ever by water from the northern border to the southern border, which is the roughest rivers in the world. We had four boats with three people in each boat. On one particular Hell's Gate rapid on the Fraser River, one of our boats was completely overturned in a 27-foot high standing wave. We found their bodies a mile downstream, which could have stopped the entire expedition, but it was luckily just the BBC film crew. We got to Antarctica, we sat in a base camp, 8,000 feet above sea level, 400 miles from other human beings with no dentist or doctor or whatever, for nine months of total darkness. The temperature went down to minus 122 degrees centigrade. We lived inside huts designed by her out of cardboard in South Wales, which depend upon a, a snow drifts to give you warmth and insulation and protection from the outside elements, but then of course you cannot get out. Um, you might think, well, why would you want to get out? And the answer is we were cooking with petrol in a paper house. We did manage to complete the first ever entire crossing of Antarctica, including 900 miles never seen before, no satellites in those days, which we mapped for the first time. Our old ship, sponsored, 42 years old, took us up the other side of the world to the Yukon River. Two of us by then, not three, because one had had to be, uh, go back or be divorced, the two of us then carried on up the Yukon River, 1,100 miles, down the Mackenzie River. I haven't got a map, I'm afraid, this evening. And then over the top for 3,000 miles through what is called the Northwest Passage. And from there, we spent nine months waiting in the darkness and then said goodbye to Jenny and set out the two of us to do the last 2,500 miles over the top. Just let me end by saying I think Kisharon is great. And any of you here who has helped Kisharon deserves full marks. Thank you. Thank you.